Ladies and gentlemen, hello. This today is the third panel, side panel by Sudwind, in the 27th meeting of the Human Rights Council in Geneva. The subject of the speeches today are arbitrary detention and the conditions of prisoners in Iran. I want to ask you to, in this hall, please, there will be photos taken and films taken. If you do not wish to be in the film or the photos, please raise your hands now so that our friends who are in charge of media can, can note it down. Our first speaker is Ms. Rezvan Mogaddam. She will speak on women prisoners. She is a women's activist and a human rights activist and a researcher, has written Many of her articles have been published on women's rights and human rights. Ms. Rezvan Mogaddam has been repeatedly arrested has been repeatedly harassed and interrogated by security forces because of her activities, especially in relation to human rights and other women's rights. Please begin. To speak. I want to thank you. Good day, dear people who have are present. I will speak about the woman prisoners in 2014. Despite many reports that women's rights activists have given to the Human Rights Council and despite the fact that the Islamic Republic has accepted to lift some discrimination against women, until now there has not been an improvement in the situation of human rights for women, but actually detentions, imprisonment and oppression of the women's right activists and students and workers and, and, and writers and journalists has actually never been, has, has actually never stopped on the, in the no period in the Islamic Republic. Actually, the women's right has also become a, a battlefield for uh, battles between different factions of the government. Whenever the moderate faction has taken power inside the government, the other faction uh, stops repeating, uh, it stops putting increasing attacks on civic activists. For instance, in the eight years of Khatami presidency, and also since Rouhani has come to power, the, of the crackdown on women's uh, civic and, and uh, human rights activists have, deter have deteriorated. So the social life of women has faced serious crises. The forced hijab for of women is a tool for fundamentalist politicians that they use to not only control society but also to fight their political rivals. Pressure on women and their oppression by passing laws, bylaws has actually increased. For instance, the sexual separation law and g making some university courses gender specific or eliminating women from them or or not letting women women students to go into the university and also the grant family plan comprehensive family plan limiting employment for women and also a harsh observance of hijab rules in order to control more clothing of women 
and limit their social presence. Expansion of the they don't let women go to the stadiums to watch football and especially volleyball matches which are of recent news and also the passing of the law that lets a man marry his 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 stepchild and passing of many other laws that are discriminatory toward women in addition to all the discriminations that i talked about which which apply to all iranian women the women who are active in the civic fields or who are dissidents or who are journalists or who are liars uh, go under double oppression in the prisons. Right now, many women, because of their dissidents, are in prison. Uh, I, I can here introduce a few examples. Zahra Zedachi, a master's uh, in sociology and a researcher for nine months she was in solitary confinement she is the mother to two small children Marzia Rasuli a journalist a cultural journalist here she has been accused of propaganda against the regime and disrupting public order she has been uh, she has been condemned to two years of suspended prison and 50 lashes. Saba Azarpek, a journalist. Her charges are propaganda against the regime. Ziba Mohammadian is uh, uh, the wife of Mama Ali Tahiri. It's not clear what she's been charged with. Neda Hari, a lawyer and a journalist who has been barred from uh, from from practicing law and has been suspended Manaz Mohammadi a documentary filmmaker and a women's rights activist who has been condemned to five years of prison and in 6 June 2014 because was uh, was sent to prison for uh, to start a five-year sentence Rehana Tabatabai is a journalist Branch 26 of the Revolutionary Court, headed by Judge Moresi E, has condemned her due to uh, due to her activities for free elections and her news reporting on the Green Movement. She's been suspe sen sentenced to six years of sus suspended prison. Roya Saberi Nejad, she has dual nationality has been condemned to 20 years of suspended prison because of her activity on social media and has her writings on Facebook. Bahare Hedayat, a student activist and a women's rights activist, has been condemned to nine years and a half of prison. She was released on on parole for a short while and even though she is she is badly sick she was transferred back to prison Mayam Shafi Poor and a member of the Mehdi Karubi electoral campaign condemned to seven years in prison and in the appeals court this was reduced to four years Sajjad Arab Sorhi journalist she also has a eight-year-old child her charges are propaganda against the regime. She has been sentenced to one year in prison. Zahra Nawad or Zohre Kazemi, a writer, an artist, and the wife of Mir Hossein Musavi. She, after the protests of the Green Movement, she has been house detained. Yegane Salehi, she also has dual nationality. She is a journalist and a photojournalist. Faride Shahgoli, a activist and a cyber activist who has been charged with insulting the supreme leader and propaganda against the regime for two years. She's been sentenced to two years of prison. Nagme Shahi Savandi Shirazi, a cyber activist who writes on her Facebook page but the, but the branch 28 of the Revolutionary Court headed by Moghese, Judge Moghese 
has been charged with insulting the supreme leader and propaganda against the regime and has been sentenced to seven years of prison. Nassim Ashrafi, a Baha'i citizen, her charges are propaganda against the regime and a member in the Baha'i organization. She has been charged with three years of suspended prison. Besme Al Jabouri, an Iraqi citizen, she is charged with espionage to five sentenced to five years of prison. Fariba Kamal Abadi, a Baha'i prisoner, who has been sentenced to twenty years in prison. Sediq Moradi, she is a survivor of the of the nineteen eighties massacre, sentenced to ten years of prison and an exile in Gohardasht prison. Maryam Akbari Monfared, a housewife and a mother of three, tried in the branch 15 of the Revolutionary Court and sentenced to 15 years of prison in Rajai Shah prison. Some of her family members were politically active in the 1980s. Four of them have been already executed. Mahva Shahriyari Sabed, a Baha'i manager, administrator who has been sentenced to five years, I'm sorry, to 20 years, 20 years, I apologize, to 20 years prison, she's been sentenced. Faran Hesami, a Baha'i citizen, a professor and a mother of, of, of a three-year-old child. She has been sentenced to four years of prison by the branch fort of the Revolutionary Court. Nushin Khadem, a, a Baha'i teacher, sentenced also to four years of prison. Hakime Shokri, a mother, a, a one, of, one, of, one of those who were arrested in Park El Lalev. She has been charged with espionage and acting against national security and sentenced to prison. Maria Magaddasi, charged with propaganda and activity against the regime. She is a political activist sentenced to nine years of prison and Qonche Qawami she was there to watch the volleyball games and is currently in prison Shamis Mohajer also a Baha'i citizen charged with propaganda against the regime and forming an illegal group sentenced to one year a suspended prison. Maryam or Nasim Naqash Zargar, a Christian convert charged with activity against the Islamic Republic regime, sentenced with definite sentence of four years in prison. Nassim Bagheri, a Baha'i citizen and a colleague of the Virtual University of Baha'is, also sentenced, he received the suspended sentence of four years in prison. Mutahari or Simin Bahnami Hariri was there to Ashraf camp to see her son. She was first executed to execution. She was sentenced to execution, but it was reduced later to 10 years. She's already spent four years of it without receiving a day of parole. Her husband, Mohsen Danishpur Mogaddam, who is 70 year old, has been sentenced to death. Elham Farahani, a Baha'i citizen, She was sent, she was called to the prison to say you can see your child, but has been kept ever since. And in prison, they did a they did an impromptu court for her, and she was sentenced to four years in prison. Rehana Jabari, I wanna really remind, I wanna really talk about her. She was nineteen, she, who was defending herself against rape. She committed murder. And now she has been charged with execution. One of the reasons I named her is that there are discriminatory laws against women and an attitude toward women in the patriarchal society of Iran.
گل روخ ابراهیمی on 7th of September 2014 together with a number of other people was arrested and to this day their charges are not clear they were taken to an unspecific location and their family have not been told of the of their place that they're being held Zara Kabi in July 2014 was arrested is a cyber activist and has published some stuff on her Facebook Afsane Bayazidi a Kurdish 28 year old student arrested in Bukan taken to an unspecific location she had been previously arrested together with her brother but was re released on bail Susan Tabiinanian, a Baha'i citizen and a mother of two small children. She also has been sentenced to receive the suspended sentence of one year in prison. Saqi Fadai, a Baha'i citizen, on 10th July 2014, was arrested in Mashhad by intelligence ministry's authorities. The names that here together with their charges and activities was said is a clear indication that what what heavy charges are laid against women's right activists and dissidents those who believe in other religions this is what we see in the Iranian courts the women's rights activists are very concerned about the condition of the women prisoners and the cases that the intelligence ministry cooks up against them. What we women's rights activists want, what do we want? The following. We want the Human Rights Council of the United Nations to encourage the governmental authorities of Iran to act upon the just recommendations that that women's rights activists have given for a fair treatment of women join joining the convention against discrimination against women elimination of all limitations and obstacles that women face in order to gain political social economic and scientific positions in society elimination of any discriminatory laws that are there on the excuse of cultural relativism even though fighting women's violence against women is a duty for everybody the states do have a duty to pass laws in accordance with the declaration of human rights to create a con a, an atmosphere that 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 is conducive to that release of all journalists researchers women rights activists and dissidents is this is one of the fundamental demands of women's rights activists thank you for paying attention